Hello, my name is Bryce Tubbs. Today, let's talk about a CPA business plan. So we're specifically going to be focusing on the marketing and sales aspect of the business plan. Now, if you want some help growing your accounting, or if your bookkeeper watches your bookkeeping firm, and you want to avoid a lot of mistakes that most people make when they are growing their business, okay, most people don't make it. It's it's a sad truth. Entrepreneurship can be challenging for most people, and most people don't make it. So if you want to go and avoid those challenges, and you want to go and avoid just all the pitfalls that most people don't even know exist, go ahead and click on the link inside the description below to book a call with me to see if I can help you. Now on the call, I'm just going to look at your current situation. I want to look at your goals and I want to see, hey, if I think I can help you out, this is what the process looks like for us to work together to be able to accomplish your goals um, in the shortest time period possible. And if it makes sense, we can work together long term. Now, back to what we're talking about, that's step number two. Step number three is about really going deeper with your content. Okay, this is the thing that's going to warm people up. I know earlier we talked about the Facebook group being the incubator, but if you want to actually plug it into the wall and turn it on, you need that long form content. You need to be able to share client testimonials. You need to be able to share stories about your journey and about your life. You need to be able to share your background, like who are you outside of work? Where did you come from? Like, did you what school did you go to? What was your life like leading up to this? What inspired you to start your business for yourself? What were some of your pains, your problems, your concerns that led you to wanting to help people out in this area? Did you get hit with a giant tax bill and you um, regretted it forever and now you want to help other people be able to um, really overcome that same, that same issue? Right? You have to be able to tell that. People need to actually to understand and know who you are before they're ready to start paying you money and it's ridiculous guys so like like i, I have a facebook group if you if you're not inside the facebook group and we have about 19,000 um actually no it's 20,000 people inside of it now right and we, we were getting some pretty good results from it. It, was, it was pretty pretty consistent pretty great um but it wasn't until i started mixing in that long form content and started showing off more of my personality started showing me like when i'm driving my car when i'm at a restaurant when i'm just giving like really quick tips when i'm really talking to the audience when i'm really helping um the people who are finding value that's when things just flipped we almost had to turn off the well we almost had to turn off the advertising because it was just like we had so many people coming inside of the group but at the same time, we had so many people who had already been inside the group start just booking calls who had previously been dormant that it was, I told my, my virtual assistant who does a lot of my call booking for me, I was like, hey, why don't you just take a break for this week? Because we, we are out of space. Like we have no more space right now. I'm either going to have to like, you know, free up more space or I'm going to have to go and hire like a, um, a, a closer because like we're just booking calls way too fast. Especially when not only do you have the content that warms people up, but your content can actually have links for people to book a call on your calendar so you can go and just talk about how your service can help them out. And that's really the three-part process you need. So one, you need to be able to identify the right kind of leads. Two, you need to be able to go and have a place to store them so that it doesn't feel like you're losing them. Um, one kind of just a key metric there, the reason why we're doing a Facebook group is also because sometimes with traditional marketing, if you don't have a place to hold them, then they just kind of, you're just spending money just kind of like falls. It's almost like you have like a funnel. In marketing, they call it like a funnel. Funnel. You're trying to funnel people to the phone or to working with you. And the more holes that you have in the funnel, the more water that comes out. And pretty soon, the more and more holes you have, the less it actually makes it into, you know, whatever you're trying to go into your sales process. And you end up losing a lot of money. There's a lot of waste. But as you can make content, you start filling in the gaps and filling in those holes. Every piece of content you make fills one or two holes inside of your funnel, and now you start having zero people drop out, and now your money that you spend on advertising, you can actually drop that money and increase how much money you're making um, just because you're better at converting people. And that's why oftentimes you see like on Facebook, like there's a lot of people and they have like, you know, a, a thousand person group or a 500 person group or even like a 10,000 person group, and they are making, you know, um, the least amount of the least amount of people that I saw for someone who's making ten million dollars a year was about um, it was at about like ten thousand. The person made like ten million dollars per year in, in top line revenue. Now that's not for an account. That's just just across the different spaces on online that I've been you know going around. But the point of that is to say, like, you don't need to have 30,000 people inside your group to great, to make great money, especially if you're going at least $5,000 um, a pop per year per client. You don't really need a huge volume of people. You just need to make sure the people you are actually talking to, one, really like you, and two, they're the right people. Because if you get someone who is really unqualified, then you need a whole lot more people than if you have qualified people from the start. 
So hopefully this video has been very helpful for you. Hopefully it's kind of pointed you in the right direction. Now, if you want some help growing your business, you think that the stuff that we just talked about today is kind of interesting and something you either haven't heard of, maybe you've heard of in the past, but you just don't really know how to implement it or do it for yourself. I encourage you to go ahead and click on the link inside the description or the comment section below to book a call with me. On that call, we're just gonna look at like, where are you right now? Where do you wanna go? And if I think I can help you out, I'm going to outline what that process looks like. And we can talk about working together long term so you can reach your goals in the shortest period of time. If that's you, I'll see you on the call. If you're not quite ready, I will see you inside the next video. Take it easy. Talk to you soon.